What's going on, guys? So Black China recently got baptized. Um, she left her OnlyFans page, um, removed the demonic tattoo that she had, um, and she said, you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm living for God now. So, you know, that's a beautiful thing. I will say this. Um, the fact that, you know, hey, she removed the tattoo, that she gave up her OnlyFans where she's making, you know, tons of money on there, um, that, that says a lot, all right? Because what you want to look for when... Someone is, you know, truly deciding to live for the Lord. Obviously, everything's not going to happen right away at the beginning, but it's some kind of transformation. The Bible talks about having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. The Bible talks about people serving me with, you know, their lips, but their hearts are far from me. So the fact that she's taken these steps uh, leads me to really believe that, you know, at least at her heart, right, this is something legitimate that she is trying to do. Now, here's the only, you know, issue that I would say that I would have. We see so many celebrities that, you know, they claim, hey, I'm I'm saved, you know, or, or you know, I love Jesus. Um, everybody from, you know, Justin Bieber to so many others. But one of the problems that we have in America, I believe, is that a lot of these individuals get connected with the wrong type of preachers, the wrong, like, you know, Hollywood celebrity type Christianity, where it's like, hey, you can give your life to Jesus, but still live how you're living, right? Uh, if you look throughout the years, a lot of these big celebrities who were celebrated for, you know, oh, they're a Christian or oh, they made a Christian song. When you look at their lifestyle and you look at their Instagrams, right, they're living just like the world. They're still drinking. They're still smoking. They're still cussing. They're still making filthy music, right? And they're connected to people who often... Uh, you know, empower this kind of behavior because the people that are connected to them want them to keep that celebrity status. And I know this firsthand. You know, I talked to this guy. I'm not going to mention who it is, you know, got saved, wanted to live for Christ. And pretty much the pastor was telling him to keep doing what he was doing when he was in the world. Keep, you know, making the same type of music because the pastor wanted you know, the, the fame that that person had and the finances that that person had, they wanted that to come to the church. And so unfortunately, the reality is everybody's not really trying to live that walk, right? Uh, Kanye West is a perfect example. I know that, you know, um, he has roots, you know, in Christianity because of his mom. But one of his issues is every time I saw him connect with somebody, he wasn't connecting with anybody that was going to hold him accountable. Right. And then I would look at, you know, a lot of the Christian, you know, uh, bloggers and other YouTubers who would like give the opposite take of what I was giving. So every time a celebrity gives their life to Christ, you know, they're, they're, they're excited and things like that. And it's, it's big time news. But, you know, my big concern is discipleship and accountability. And so Kanye or yay, right? He he only had people around him that was going to kiss his butt. So whatever feeling or emotion that he had, he's just up, down. One one minute he's making Jesus walks, the next minute he's making some kind of filthy music. Then he dro drops a Jesus uh Jesus is King album, and then the next thing you know, he's doing all kinds of crazy stuff because you're connected to the wrong people. One of the most important things that I pray for a lot of these celebrities is that God will lead them to a real man and woman of God that don't want anything from them, that don't care about their celebrity status, that just look at them as a soul. That is that is my prayer because I've seen this over and over and over again where, you know, I believe, especially with Black China, you know, she's making moves. She's making actually a sacrifice. All that money that she was making from OnlyFans, I think somebody said she got some uh, fillers removed out of her face. Hey, I'm happy for her, but my biggest concern, my biggest prayer for her is that she doesn't get connected to some watered down, lukewarm, Hollywood, uh, you know, fame desiring, uh, money grabbing preacher. She gets with somebody that's really about that life that will hold her accountable that will disciple her. So let's be praying for her. Um, I'm happy for her, but let's just pray that God, you know, takes that desire that she has, you know, um, one plants, another waters, God brings the increase and just connects her with real men of God, real woman of God. And let this be a true transformation and a testimony, you know, for the glory of God.